Ghana Cocoa Board, as part of its prize, the Best Cocoa Farmer sponsored the 2012 National Best Cocoa Farmer, Mr. Ajanim Boatin Ejapong, and his wife, Madam Mary Ajiman, on a 10 days tour of the United Kingdom. The board implemented the annual National Best Cocoa Farmer Award as part of its bid to encourage and promote the contribution made by cocoa farmers towards the Ghanaian economy. The award-winning farmer receives various gifts including a brand new car, cash reward, farming equipment as well as a trip to tour the United Kingdom to experience at first hand how Ghana's premium quality cocoa is being used for a wide range of products. Mr. Ajidim Boatin Ejapong, a 58-year-old farmer with 338 acres of hybrid cocoa farms located at Ejapong Krum No. 2 in the Juaboso district, started cocoa farming in 1985 using planting material from Boko Cocoa Station in the western north region of Ghana. He produced 5,205 bags of dried cocoa beans to win the 2012 National Best Cocoa Farmer Award. Mr. Ajinim Boatin Ejapong employs 46 farmhands and their families, who are housed in 15 farmsteads at different locations close to the operational areas. He also owns a warehouse where truckloads of cocoa are deposited every week. Part of his social responsibility to his community, he has out of his own resources constructed three bridges and a 3.5 kilometer road to link his village with the main road. Mr. Ejapong has sunk boreholes to offer portable water and part sponsored the electricity extension from the main grid to the community under the Rural Electrification Project. Mindful of the importance of education, he has sponsored a number of students from his community to study at various levels in education. Proud to their departure from Accra to the UK, the national best cocoa farmer, Mr. Ajinim Boatin Ejapong, and his wife, Madam Mary Ajaman, paid a courtesy call on the British High Commissioner in Ghana, Mr. Peter Jones, at the offices of the High Commission at Bridge in Accra. The farmer was accompanied by Ghana Cocoa Board's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Anthony Fofi, and Mr. Noah Amenya, Public Affairs Manager. On Tuesday, 15th October 2013, Mr. Ejapong and Madam Mary Ajiman, accompanied by Mr. Noah Amenya, departed Accra by air to embark on their tour of the UK. In the UK, the delegation started their tour with a visit to the offices of the Ghana Cocoa Marketing Company UK Limited, where they were welcomed by the manager, Mr. Musa Lemboni. During 
their meeting, Mr. Lemboni took time to explain to the farmer the operations of the CMC UK office. He also demonstrated to the farmer how Ghana's cocoa is traded on the well cocoa market. From the CMC UK offices, the farmer and delegation, now led by the CMC UK manager, visited the Ghana Forestry Commission UK office. They were welcomed by Dr. Mohamed Nuruddin Idrisu, head of the UK office. Dr. Nuruddin was full of praise for the best farmer for their hard work that had kept the industry alive. He also praised the government for seeing to the welfare of cocoa farmers in Ghana. Mr. Ejepong and wife, Madam Ajima, along with the Public Affairs Manager of Cocoa Board and CMC UK Manager, paid a courtesy call on His Excellency Professor Kweku Danso Bwalfu, Ghana High Commissioner to the UK and Ireland at the Missions Belgrave Square office in central London. Present with the High Commissioner to meet the farmer and entourage was Mr. George Finn, Minister, Trade and Investment at the Ghana High Commission UK. Professor Dan Subwafu welcomed the farmer and delegation and congratulated Mr. Ejapon and Madam Ajiman for their hard work which had won them the Best Cocoa Farmer Award. The High Commissioner assured them that the Government of Ghana is keen to ensure the welfare of cocoa farmers are well looked after because of the important role they play in the economy. Every year we look forward to your coming. So uh, if you haven't come, we can have better or not. Because uh, we, we believe that uh, you deserve uh, this trip because of your contribution. Had it not been for cocoa farming, some of us would not have had uh, access to secondary schools and this and the whole, the whole working company. So uh, I, I had a government scholarship in secondary school and I think uh, there was a cocoa board uh, scholarship. So we are all Mr. Noah Amenya, Public Affairs Manager for Cocoa Board, thanked the High Commissioner for challenging Cocoa Board three years ago to include the spouse of the best cocoa farmer on the trip to the UK as the spouses played a key role in the success of the best cocoa farmers. Mr. Amenya said Cocoa Board took heed to the challenge and for the second time the national best cocoa farmer has travelled to the UK with their spouse. The Public Affairs Manager at Cocoa Board also took the opportunity to update the High Commissioner on the successes achieved to date with the Cocoa Board campaign to encourage local consumption of cocoa in Ghana. This year, our Cocoa Day celebration was extended to become a Cocoa Festival, mm -hmm. where we showcase everything cocoa. So we got a lot of the processing companies to show what they are doing. And we also had a Ghana Chefs Association also to show how you can use cocoa for Ghanaian dishes. Mm -hmm. So they used it uh, even for rice soup, for granola soup, uh, to season meat and uh, chicken, and did a lot of pastries with it. And it was, it was very interesting to see such things. And we, in fact, it has actually whetted the appetite of a lot of people as to how they can use cocoa. Mr. Ajinim Boatin in Japan in turn thanked the government of Ghana through Cocoa Board for offering cocoa farmers the incentives of good prices for their cocoa, as well as supporting them to ensure an increased yield. He was grateful to His Excellency for championing for wives of the best farmers to join them on their trip to the UK, as he believed it would have been a disservice to their spouses who work tirelessly behind the scenes.
the national best cocoa farmer for 2012, assured all that Ghanaian cocoa farmers will do whatever it takes to safeguard the Ghana cocoa industry. The farmer's visit to the UK this year coincided with the Salon du Chocolat, a chocolate fair that showcases UK's best chocolate companies exhibiting alongside exciting international brands. The fair features demonstrations, talks and hands-on workshops for the top chocolatiers. Fair this year showcased London's best ever chocolate fashion show featuring models wearing couture outfits made entirely out of chocolate. Chocolat, um, there is there is exhibitions worldwide. There's 23 shows. It started off in Paris, and the Paris show now has 130,000 visitors. So it's 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 a very big event. It's very exciting, and this is the first year in London. So we're really excited that Salon du Chocolat has come to London. It's part of our education system for primary schools, so we get involved in that. And then we have a chocolate club here at the show, so children can make chocolate. Um, and hear about chocolate and taste chocolate and learn more about it. Mr. Ejapong took time out to attend the chocolate fair in London Olympia. Mr. Ejapon and wife visited the stands and interacted with some of the exhibitors. As a farmer, where do you see the future of cocoa? Well, the, the, the cocoa has got a future. Mm -hmm. Now we want to promote cocoa consumption in Ghana. Uh -huh. You know, we produce the cocoa, we don't consume it. And uh, cocoa is trying to promote cocoa consumption in Ghana. Oh, really? Yes. I know when Ghanaians are used to consume cocoa. Mm -hmm. Like you said in China, yeah. When the Chinese, Chinese are mean, so yeah. when they train yeah. for consumption, yeah. then the, the industry have the right to. At some stands, the national cocoa farmer took time to explain to the exhibitors what makes Ghana's cocoa premium quality and encourage, especially those chocolatiers who did not use Ghana's cocoa, to give it a try. The Ghana High Commission uh, here in London, UK, is very much involved in all our activities that pertain to promoting Ghana, particularly when it comes to cocoa, which is a major export item uh, for Ghana. Uh, cocoa brings in a lot of revenue. So if we are lucky to have the person who grows cocoa, who makes all the export of cocoa to UK and other parts of the world here in the UK, we deem it as our responsibility to host and facilitate and ensure that this visit to UK is very uh, worthwhile. It's very interesting and exciting 
to see the wide range of products and services related to cocoa. Uh, that means that we can expand the products and then the services related to cocoa in Ghana to cover so many areas and then the more coverage we have, uh, the better because it means that we are diversifying the uses and sources and services that relate to cocoa. So it means that we can deepen our uh, product coverage in terms of cocoa sector. A lot of cocoa for the world market. Now Ghana is the second largest producer of cocoa in the world. And uh, it's not acceptable to say that uh, Ghana consumes just about 0 0.5 kilo, kilograms per, per capita, and it's, it's woefully inadequate. Looking at the enormous benefits, health and nutritional benefits of cocoa, it is very good that Cocoa Board undertake a drive to increase cocoa consumption locally. And that is why uh, Cocoa Board set up a committee, which I happen to be the chairman of that committee, to look at uh, how we can promote cocoa consumption. And uh, for, the, for the first time, uh, we've been able to put together a cocoa festival 2013 to help ev ev bring together everything cocoa. And that we have largely achieved and it has whetted the appetite of Ghanaians to see that, yes, we can use cocoa in a lot of the local meals that we even prepare. And we think that if we will continue with this, we will be able to improve or increase our cocoa consumption. In fact, that is one of the drives why the best farmer had to attend the Salon de Chocolat, uh, to see the number of things. and uh, a lot more Ghanaians who will see some of the footages here would be able to improve on our consumption. Right now, Ghana cocoa farmers receive prices that are better than all the countries around Ghana who produces cocoa, even Cote d'Ivoire. And it's, it is to motivate the farmers to continue to work and also keep whatever they are able to produce within the country so that the country largely would benefit from it. So I think that that plus the other interventions like scholarship for farmers' works, like construction of uh, cocoa roads, uh, portable water electrif electrification uh, activities in, in cocoa communities, and the training that farmers are receiving together with the extension uh, facility which is available for them, we think that largely Ghanaian farmers are well placed to be able to produce uh, the best uh, cocoa for the world. And, and, and I think they, they appreciate that. The 2012 National Best Cocoa Farm, Mr. Japan and wife, were amazed to see the wide variety of products made out of chocolate. They were also surprised to see the large number of people who had attended the fair just to sample and learn more about chocolates. My baby, who any of my baby, any side of my baby, I'm from Ghana. He produces cocoa, but no custom. He cocoa na di he jumano. I catch it kakra because we show any cocoa na we show niema onga chimi a produce. I di chocolate na he design some pabua. We call baby onga di I truth niema niema na. Now we say, I say he he back up. He 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 onga kakra. My cocoa na he he no. A baby, I say, it's new organizing baby say, our Ghana. I'm a man for you now. I'm saying this year, cocoa body, cocoa fair. I'm saying by next year, no, this year, this year was their first time. I hope say by next year, no, there will be improvement. Now, send you see here, or Hano. I'm saying, be a baby, or Ghana, my man for swim, more than any cocoa, no, and no crab and carry cocoa consumption. But so, what panel who said the cocoa is animal. But we have cocoa no fish, chocolate in here. But we want to be very attractive. Into a person who can handle it, who can handle it for the first time. No, I'm saying, I've been man no any at in Kebbi, my ten beer cocoa. No, we say cocoa is very good. I'm more consume more cocoa. Into me stress the cocoa board better as cocoa fair. Now, on a year now improve the beer. I'm being invited some foreign companies, more of them. No, so I be display on products. No, I'm a man for. 
I be encouraging people more who be cocoa near here. Ghanaians more who be cocoa near my cocoa consumption now. Says a cocoa bottle price will be a consumption cocoa. I be more encouraging man for more cocoa because we buy. I be more pure how media become man who who say cocoa. You know, a very good, a very good. I'm right here now. Says you on a bus, on a pair white collar job. Ah, any one. So on my modern, so on my son come back to their roots. Now on a condo, on a coche, we are able. Titu koko, we are able. Now about boys, so she on a free by beer area, on beer koko be here in India. Mess here, I'm right here. So my on my waste your time on crying. My boy, my nine to a class. Ah, we just want beer and yet. The baby has seen. Oh, my son come back to the village. Because life will become very difficult for you. And now we're aging. We to be met on Sabio, Doc Chains, and Ninia, my name, or Kamusa, and Fanko, who room and Marco Cra. And maybe no back up, you go back to the village. Uncle Cra, I didn't know. And tell him, Tina, we are branches and see our holding on. Uncle Cra, even though we are Sassy Cra, called Jit Naninia, says as I saw the man a bunu, a bunu system, only as I see run away, but do much of me. Long sang go back to their roots. Their tour started with a visit to the London Eye. The London Eye is the world's largest cantilevered observation wheel on the south bank of the River Thames in London. The entire structure is 135 meters tall and the wheel has a diameter of 120 meters. From the London Eye, the delegation visited Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds London is a major tourist attraction located in central London. Housed in the former London Planetarium, it is famous for recreating famous people and celebrities in wax. The attraction houses its famous Chamber of Horror. It is the original Madame Tussauds attraction having been situated in Marylebone Road since 1884.
round up their visit to the UK, the farmer was hosted to a dinner at the residence of Mr. Lemboni, CMC UK manager. According to Mr. Lemboni, the dinner was a token of appreciation from CMC UK to the farmer and wife. The dinner was attended by a cross-section of members from the Ghanaian community in London and officers from the various Ghana parastatal organizations in the UK. So I would like to thank all Ghanaian cocoa farmers for the efforts that they put in all this while to sustain the Ghanaian economy. I think that they will continue to do that. And I also believe that Cocoa Board and government will continue to pay it through. I will encourage Ghanaian farmers not to be discouraged. Government has kept faith with them. Ghana Cocoa Board has kept faith with them. And I believe that we will always continue to keep faith with them. So they will continue to feed the Ghanaian nation and earn the needed uh, foreign exchange for the Ghanaian economy. The 2012 Best Farmer, Mr. Ajinim Boatin in Japan, said the trip to the UK has educated him on the high regard placed on Ghana cocoa by the international consumer. He said he has been motivated as a cocoa farmer to continue implementing good agronomical practices in order to increase his yield so the world will continue to enjoy quality cocoa from Ghana. For the youth who think the only way to succeed in life is working in the city, the National Best Cocoa Farm charged them to get into farming where there is wealth, success and most importantly, fulfillment. <laughs> <laughs>